Yo, it's your boy Donnie. What it do, man? And I'm gonna make this video before I go out. It's like 10 going on 11 at night. And where I reside, it's peaceful, it's chill. And when I walk down that block, it's the jungle, man. It's the jungle. My advice to anybody, women and children, and soy, sassy, zesty men should never be out there, especially past 12. Bruh, I'd be out past 12, one, two, three. If I need to go out, I'm out. I've been doing this for years. I was doing this in my 20s, fam. You know what I'm saying? See, y'all y'all don't really know me. There's a side to me y'all don't really know. But anyway, um, Some things I'm really not proud of that I did in my life, and I don't want to put it out here on the internet like that. So I give you bits and pieces. You know what I mean? Um, but I know my lawyer would be like, "Hey, don't talk about that." Let me tell you something. Beware the vampires. They're out there. They are out there. Disguise. Like regular people. You know what I'm saying? You thinking they one of you. Nah, they not one of you. You ever seen the movie Lost Boys? The vampire movie. Check that out. A beautiful classic. I love it. I love that. The Coonies. Oh, those movies, man. I miss those movies, man. Anyway, um, when I get around my people from where I'm from, I'm from Jersey, by the way, if you didn't know. They can't accept the fact that I'm trying to be on a righteous path. They're like, you still one of us, man. Because I still got my ninja ways. I used to proclaim to be a ninja. When I saw Richard Pryor, what he said, and Paul Mooney didn't want to use the N-word no more, I was done with that ninja stuff. This was back in like 2009. But sometimes I slip up. I ain't going to hold you. So when you listen to my videos, you like... Okay, he breaking down scriptures, he doing this and that. But then there's some videos where you can be like, yo, he kind of ghetto, yo. I can relate to him. He sound like one of my homies. You know what I mean? He remind me, so many people be telling me I remind them of somebody. Or I look like somebody. Y'all want to know what I look like? I'm going to give y'all a hint to what I look like. You seen the movie South Central, OG Bobby Johnson? That's how I look. My whole life, everybody tells me that's my twin. They like, yo, you look just like OG Bobby Johnson. I'm like, yo, y'all saying I look like OG Bobby Johnson. What if he looked like me? And you know what's crazy? I told him that on Twitter. He followed me. He didn't like the tweets I was posting. I'm not for everybody. So later he unfollowed. Me. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? Weird. The weirdest stuff ever. Yes, the dude. His name is Glenn Plummer. Anyway, um. He a clown for that, but whatever. That's not why I'm doing this video. Beware the vampires, man. They out there. You know what's crazy? You got idiots on this. <laughs> I'm sorry, hold on. You got dum dums on here who think I'm a vampire because I don't want to reveal. Yo, I never had so many men wanting to see what I look like. You're going to see what I look like in a minute. They are so infatuated. All right, you're going to see a brown-skinned brother with locks. This girl told me today, you need to stop. You know, she ain't say you need to stop. But the way she said it, she was like, yo, you're not short. Why you keep saying you a short? I was like, yo, you know, us short kings, we got it bad out here. But anyway, um, you got to beware of the vampires. They're life suckers. They're leeches. They feed off your energy. That's what they that's what these demons inside these people do. They feed off your energy, fam. Most of the times they be grabbing for straws, I call it. When I say grabbing for straws, that means they're trying to get your attention. They'll do any and everything because they need that energy. They need that. <laughs> it's almost as if they lust for that. Because 
remember that video I told y'all with the dude who pulled the strap out on me at CVS? He just needed for me to interact with him. He was good. That's how these psychopathic maniacs roll. And there's some of them on this YouTube, on YouTube, on this platform. They are here. They're degenerates. They're two thirds. You know what I mean? They're not the Lord's people. Nope. Two thirds are not the Lord's children because two thirds, all they know is the ghettos, the slums, the hood. They don't have no mercy, no compassion. Even if you have a crash out, you got to talk to your brethren in the preview, meaning private, and y'all can y'all can argue or y'all can have a a regular convo and it never meet and never make it to the internet. That's when you know you got a real brother. If a dude crash out with you, he airing out how he feel about you, he been feeling that way. I've been told y'all that. You know what I'm saying? He been feeling that way about you. He was just waiting for the opportunity, that moment, that y'all crash out to air it all out. He was never your brother. He was never your friend. Yeah. <laughs> Energy vampires, man. They feed off of negativity. A woman told me she loves negativity. And then there was another time where she was like, I can't look. I don't like to look myself in the mirror. That's what she told me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, why you don't like to look yourself in the mirror? I already know she got demons on her. Right? She was supposed to be my friend, but I don't really rock with her because I don't trust her. But she just could not look in the mirror. We was we was both standing next to a mirror and I was like, yo, she had, I was like, yo, get that off your face or whatever she had. She couldn't even look in the mirror. I'm like, why you can't look in the mirror? She's like, I don't like to look in the mirror. I just I can't do it. I'm like, yeah, them demons. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I wrestle with demons. I mean, who, anybody telling you that they don't have obstacles, they don't have situations that they gotta get through is a liar. I deal with demons. One of my biggest demons is alcoholism. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk about that at another time. But anyway, I'm gonna overcome this demon. I'm gonna get this demon off my shoulder, off my back. You know they call it the monkey on the back. So some people think I'm a vampire. They think I'm a vampire, right? <laughs> Not the vampire in Brooklyn like Eddie Murphy, but they think I'm a vampire because I don't show myself on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Beware of the energy vampires. They want to see what they can get and how much of it that they can get out of you. Why do you think so many women start a relationship with an energy vampire, i.e. Pookie and Ray Ray, Tyrone and Chad and Brad, Rico and Juan? Then some time goes on a season or two or more. Once the relationship finally ends, she's not as beautiful as she once was worn out washed up destroyed psychologically wise spiritually wise and physically and now she's not a beautiful queen anymore because they drained her of all her beauty all of all her sanity and now she is no longer the same They're conniving, they like to beguile you, they're wicked. No. Let me tell you something, right? It's like this, you know, the sour patch commercial. First they friendly and then they go sour and then boom, you see the real them. That's how these people are. They hide behind these masks as friendship. You thinking it's all good. But nah, brother. Nah, they're wolves and sheep clothing. They're not who they present themselves to be. They know they're wrestling with demons, but they act as if they're holier than thou. They ain't got no issues. They'll say they got issues, but they won't admit that they got demons on them or in them. Yeah, they do. And I see them miles away. I just listen to how they talk, their mindset, their aura, their energy, and I know who they are. I don't need to be around them. I know who they are. They like to see your weaknesses so they can use that against you. 
Is that a real friend? You notice how when y'all have a crash out, y'all argue, and now they're airing out how they always been feeling about you the whole time. Use them! You sound like an emotional female I just broke up with, fam. You a clown. I laugh at these dudes. I really do, man. And then, you know, they're going to do their little lives and do their little next videos. And let me say this to this to this um, this goofy, right? You made a couple of more videos. I ain't been checking no more of your videos, yo. Masculine, whatever it was called. I ain't even checking. I saw it. Didn't care. And I'm not trying to cast no spells on nobody. All I said was, I'm going to give it to my Heavenly Father. I'm going to pray for you. That's what I'm going to do. My Abba don't play about me. I'll talk about that later. I ain't going to talk about it now. There's people who did me foul. And when years pass, they got it done back to them 10 times worse. You know, I'll pray for you in goodness. But if you try to come for me, oh yeah, good luck. I'm not no saint. But I'm trying to get there. You know what I'm saying? And I realized that I just can't deal with YouTubers, man. I can't deal with people on this internet. They're energy vampires, man. They think they know me. They think they got me figured out. But they have no clue, fam. There's a side of me that I don't like to show y'all. You dig? Just try your best to stay on the righteous path. I know it's hard, yo. I know it's hard. Avoid temptation. I Try your best as best as you can. Don't be worldly. See, the Lord don't want his children to be worldly. He wants us to be upright. He wants us to follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our abilities. He don't want us to be a part of the world. Yes, we're in the world, but we're not of the world. I don't do what everybody do. If you haven't noticed that by now. See, I see... I can tell a lot of y'all just don't watch a lot of my videos. I'll be dropping so many gems and jewels. I'm like, yo, why am I giving all this out for free? I mean, I'm monetized now, but that was for so long. I was putting all this out for free. I'm going to stop that. I'm going to start. What I'm going to do, I'm going to end up going to Patreon. And whoever want to come, come. If not, it's cool. I'll still make money even if I don't make money on the internet. It ain't about money. It's about I'm trying to make a good living. I'm trying to get my um, cameras and everything so then y'all can see me. But yo, them, beware of them vampires, man. I'm telling you, bro. They feed off your energy. And they always watching, even when you think they're not watching. And they want to see what you're about to do next. And if they can, they'll try to stop it. Don't tell everybody everything you coming into, everything you got going on. Keep your mouth closed and grind. Keep your head down, grind, high and by. So what you do this weekend? Nothing. Sleep, eat, chill. That's all you need. That's all these people need to know at your job. They don't need to know what you got going on. Yo, you don't really open up. You don't really like to say what's going on. They don't need to know that because one of them or some of them are energy vampires and they want to know what you got going on so they could try to sabotage it you don't want that so why are you running your mouth don't be like all these other people in the world running their mouth telling all their business yo this and that about my lover and that and this in my life no they don't need to know nothing let them forever see you as a mystery let them guess grind grind it through the mud and do what you gotta do don't ask for no handouts Nobody gonna give you nothing. And if they do, just know it's an agenda behind that. In most cases, but use your discernment. You understand? Energy vampires, man. They always want to try to benefit off you. They always want to try to get a one-up on you. Because they envious. They hate you. They hate you, man. They're mad that you have this glow about you. Even, yo, I got people that got way more than me. Way, way more money. They get all the women. They get all this. They get all that. And they still look down at me from the top. And they be like, man. Because you know why? They see I'm a potential threat. That's why they scared to say my name. You feel me? Don't say it. I don't, I don't care if you say it or not. Because you know if you ever do, your people going to be like, well, let me see what he got going on. 
Because he always talk about it. I want to see what's up with him. They don't want that. Because then the light won't be on them no more. That light will be dimmed and it'll come to me now. They don't want that. Beat the game. Beat the game. But these clowns say nobody watches my videos. They might not watch it as much as I would want, but they're watching. You're watching. That's why you're here. Goofy. <laughs> these dudes, man. I'm like, this dude is so emotional, man. He was really angry. Anyway, man, it's your boy Donnie. I'm about to go out to the store. You know what I'm saying? I got to go pick up something. Um, then I'm going to come back home, eat dinner, take it down. I get up. And, uh, and, uh, um, tomorrow I'm going to work. Some of these vampires, they want your spot. Some of them want your knowledge. They want your wisdom. They hate that you know so much. And they feel like, man, I've been doing this for this long and that long. How How is it he's younger than me? He's like, I got him by 10 years. Some of these people are 10, 15 years older than me. And they're like, how is it he know all that? And I didn't know that. And they hate that. <laughs> Instead of trying to build with me, come to me. I'm not going to treat you like a student. But what elders need to understand, you can learn from me as much as I can learn from you. And I can learn from Generation Z. You feel me? We all here to educate and teach each other. But they don't see you as their brother. They see you as competition. Everybody who's a skin folk and kin folk. Let me say it again. Everybody who's skin folk, meaning the same color as you, they're not kin folk. Remember that. And you'll be all right. There are some good people out there, but it's a whole lot of bad people. But yo, it's your boy Donnie, man. Y'all enjoyed this. Beware of those vampires. They're only in it for their arterial motives. They got a trick up their sleeve. And they want to try to bring you down. But yeah. Beware of these vampires, man. They're all around us, man. They're amongst us. And they hate your light, but yet <laughs> they admire you. You know, they'll talk all this, talk all that, but they'll keep coming back to your channel, back to your world to see what you got going on. Make it make sense. Sorry, it was a little bit longer than expected. So I had to end it right here. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Your boy Donnie, I'm out.